Hello, the other day I came across a young woman on the internet who claims to be a Christian Wiccan, and I told her that you cannot be a Christian Wiccan, you cannot blend the two systems, and she wrote back and said a few abusive things and told me that there are no rules in, in religion. And that's what I want to respond to, the idea that there are no rules in religion. That is simply false, and it shows that she's interpreting religion and Christianity through a Wiccan worldview. She's assuming the validity of the Wiccan worldview and paradigm and putting everything else through a Wiccan filter, so to speak. Okay, in this show, she does not have a proper understanding of Christianity. Of course, there are rules in religion and in Christianity. For example, Christians believe in the deity of Christ and in his bodily resurrection. If you deny these two things, you're not a Christian. You're something else. Christians believe in biblical inspiration. And when we look at scripture, we see that it condemns what Wiccans believe and practice. It condemns the concept of polytheism multiple gods and goddesses. It affirms monotheism. It condemns magic. It condemns divination, spells, magic, mediumship, necromancy, things of that nature, the whole world of the occult, basically. And not all Wiccans engage in mediumship, necromancy, and spiritism. But I'm just saying here that basically the Bible condemns the whole world of the occult. And if you are a Christian, then you should be very concerned about biblical teaching. You have to accept biblical inspiration, okay? So this young woman, like the rest of us, was born into a system today. And if you're born in the, in the late 20th century, early 21st century, then your mind has been corrupted by the concepts of Antichrist. You, you, your mind has been bombarded with concepts such as religious pluralism, religious tolerance, ecumenism, modernism, postmodernism, secularism, humanism, things of that nature. And these things work against us and affect how we perceive the world, Christianity, and religion. Okay, so this woman's mind has been damaged by the society that shaped her soul in ungodliness. Okay, and it's difficult in today's society to get away from the occult which is everywhere in the media the movies everywhere it's being pushed on us so she does not have a proper understanding of christianity and if you claim to be a a christian wiccan or a christian witch you're deceived it's impossible to blend light with darkness christ with belial truth with falsehood but there's an antichrist agenda in the world today that is trying to bring down the barriers between these things so if you claim to be a, a Christian and yet you're involved in Wic Wicca or witchcraft, then you need to know the biblical teaching, see? And you should respect the biblical teaching. So I'm going to recommend a couple books for you that show the biblical teaching on witchcraft, magic, divination, polytheism, things of that nature. It's called The first book is called Witchcraft Exploring the World of Wicca by Craig Hawkins. The other book is by the same author, Craig Hawkins. It's called Goddess Worship, Witchcraft, and Neopaganism. So if you claim to be a Christian, you should read one of these books or both of them and see what the Bible has to say about the things that Wiccans and witches practice. You cannot be a Christian Wiccan. You cannot be a Christian witch. I thank you very much for listening.